Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, it took me a minute to uh, really do this video because I just don't even know what to say anymore. I really don't. Y'all, y'all, my people. I don't know who my people are anymore. So, I'm going to quit saying that. A lot of y'all know that I have a super, a super, and y'all should too have reverence for our fallen hero. Um, And as I see now, ain't nothing sacred for us. You know, Willie Lynch once said that, and I always bring this up, how black folk would be perpetually perpetually miserable if you implemented all those tactics that he had, like pitting the old slave against the young slave, pitting the, the, the man against the woman, pitting the old man against the young man, all that stuff. And the result, of that will be some people that will be perpetually miserable. Okay? So if you if you got that part, then there's no way you can deny what you're looking at. I have a serious affinity to Dr. King. Um I was born on April 4th. In St. Joseph's Hospital. Dr. King died on April 4th in St. Joseph's Hospital. And that's something I always knew. Not only that, my brothers and my dad. I mean, I I remember when Dr. King came to Milwaukee. I mean, I was I was small, extremely small. I was eight when y'all killed him. When, they, when he was murdered. But the perversion. Oh God. I never thought I would see black people per, just perverting our history, our leadership the way we do. There's nothing sacred. Not only did Juk get killed on the weekend of Dr. King's birthday, I'm seeing all these damn nigga flyers with Dr. King, with jury, and y'all think that shit funny? I mean, I don't. It just really shows us how far we've we've gone. The standard is not low. It ain't the bar ain't even an inch off them from hell, and that's where we at with it. We like ships without sails, without rudders. We don't. There's no leadership, and, you know, it's by design that they took some leadership off of the Internet. At least somebody that can straight. I ain't talking about these fake li li leaders. Because everything and everybody needs a certain amount of leadership, a certain amount of discipline, a certain amount of. <sighs> yes, you have freedom of will. Don't get me wrong. Leadership don't mean you just do whatever that, that person say. And follow blindly. But you need leadership in order to promote growth. And it seems that as long as we've had leadership on the planet, we were growing. And now we have none. And I was so sad about um, Dr. King's birthday this year. For the first time in all my life. I can't believe how far my people have fallen. It's so, it's so, it's so hurtful. It's so God darn hurtful. I was glad when Bernice came out and said that her mama wasn't a, a prop. I mean, and when you're used to being raised and being in the presence of women like a Coretta Scott King or Betty Shabazz, 
you understand the importance of womanhood as well. This transcends your sexuality and all that. Because, see, all that's another byproduct. I ain't trying to hear that. I'm talking about your commitment to your group. White folk have know what have done they've done to us. If they can get out there and protect dogs, every time I see one of these damn commercials, oh, saddest music you ever want to see, then you got dogs with broken paws or whatever. But, and they'll put you in jail, like Mike Vick with the jail for 20 years for dog fight. Yet the aftermath of the pain bodies that have been that that we present ain't got no love from nobody, none. It's like the the hatred for the Palestinians, and we so stupid we don't even see it. We don't even see that we up next, next man up, the niggas in America. We don't see it. It's a genocide and it's a slow walk to hell. Anytime you can disrespect your leadership this way. Dr. King, I get mad and I'm hurt. He made the ultimate sacrifice. He got killed trying to do something positive for black people. Now we got black people that just kill each other for no reason oh no i'm sorry because for them the bag has become the most important thing they ain't got no more love for nobody see that was by design this is what you call social engineering at its finest you have been taught to hate yourself all of y'all who watch Django, all you gotta do is look at the boxing scene the way they made those brothers fight to the end, to the death, put dogs on. And y'all can't find not one reason to love each other. <sighs> yeah, Dr. King was shot down in Memphis and there's been a cloud over that city for a long time. And now it's just downright evil. That's cloud in that beautiful city. With the beautiful. I have to remind myself sometimes that we ain't been free that long. And we are a people who were forbidden to read. So a lot of us carry the slave mentality that it's not important to read. Hell, they wouldn't let us read. We ain't been free that long. Okay. Hell, my grandmama used to sign her signature with an X. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Because she couldn't read or write. And she used to have her kids read stuff for her and she would be so proud because and that's my mom and them because they were able to go to school and learn something could write her name but she did work for Louis Pasture okay my grandmama Viola Thompson She signed X. And I really don't think that y'all really understand what generational trauma does to us. That's why you got to keep people out of your circle. Until, unless you know they're healing. That don't mean we all have to go to each other's birthday party. But that don't mean we got to be the most toxic people on the face of the earth either. I don't want to hear nothing about what white people do. 
for those of y'all who out there is finna come at me like that. I don't even want to hear that. This is all self-inflicted. It's very sad. Dr. King, he could have spent time with his family. He had he have a granddaughter that he never saw in the in the physical. He never saw his children grow up. And he was a young man when he was killed, just 39. And the aftermath of what he sacrificed his life for is an embarrassment to black people everywhere. And if it's not, then you need help. You need help. If you don't see all the sacrifices, the Fred Hamptons, the Malcolm X's, All the great leaders we had. Going on back to uh, uh, hell. Haiti. All the way back to Tucson. We've had great ones. And we can't figure out a way. To get this white man's claws up out of us. We can't stand up. And he rides our back. Because our back is so bent. And we have become puppets and pawns for white supremacy white man don't gotta lift his hand and do nothing no more it's just like an elephant when you train him for the circus all you gotta do is put a chain around his leg tie him to a tree keep him like that uh, for a few years feed him on that tree wash him down while he's tied to the tree And if you do this conditioning for year, for day after day, month after month, then year after year, when you take that chain off his ankles, guess what? He ain't getting ready to go nowhere. He gonna stay right there. And when some aberration come, like Willie then said, but when a phenomenon come, somebody spook him, something happened, where he realizes that he's free, what the hell do we do? He flip all them damn people off his back. He run through the town stomping your asses. Excuse my language, but that's what happens. He get tired. And if you are so stupid to not understand what oppression looks like, and all we do is go to church talking about Jesus, Jesus going to save us. Jesus, Jesus going to save us. How long you going to sing that stupid shit? Jesus ain't coming back to save you. Ain't nobody going to save you. Nobody. We all we got. We all we got. And even if you don't like your brother, even if you got a problem with your brother, even if you can't deal with your the ignorance of your brother, you ain't got to kill him. All hands should be on deck. And that should be a requirement, especially for a group that's as oppressed as we are. But we want to keep on chasing this imaginary freaking bag as if the dollar has all the value. And we'll shoot and kill each other over it. We got to do better, y'all. We got to do better. I have never been so disappointed in my life. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe this weekend. That's why I ain't been on the internet. I've been depressed. Y'all Negroes depress me. For real, for real. I don't know if anybody share my sentiment today. But if you do, I want to hear from you. Because I'm tired of talking about white people. I'm tired of talking about what white folks do to us. Let's talk about what we do to each other. Let's talk about that. And if you don't want to talk about it, then I ain't got nothing else to say to you. Because I already know. You ain't in my league. 
you ain't in you ain't in nobody's league that got anything to offer society. You part of the freaking problem. And we got to deal with you. But in the meantime, I hope we wake up. I hope y'all wake up, even if not in my lifetime. Y'all, we got babies. I watch the destruction of the babies. I see rappers with 20 and 30 kids, and they give their babies knives and weapons to just stand there. They ain't taking them to the range to teach them how to shoot like our counterpart they got them out there wild holding uh ak-47s or butcher knives okay and you know damn well these kids ain't had no training and these gonna be your future drive-by shooters i know y'all don't like this i know this ain't gonna get no likes i don't give a damn about likes and views or nothing I had to get this out my spirit. Because y'all niggas done ruined my whole damn weekend. With y'all bull crap. Tell me how y'all feel about it. Is, it. is it me? Or do somebody out there share my sentiment? With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next one. I mean, I'll see you in the next one.